Once news emerged that Arsenal were in talks to extend Martin Odegaard's contract, fan sentiment emerged in the same fashion as a link to a new signing would do. It has long been known how integral the midfielder is to both club and Mikel Arteta. Take his strong start to this season, having already struck three goals and six appearances, kicking off from the last campaign, which saw the Gunners' captain earn a place on the Ballon d'Or list. He embodies Arsenal, a vital cog in a machine which is already looking a menace for opposition. The 4-0 victory over PSV on Wednesday an example. And, after days of talks between club and representatives, a long-term deal keeping Odegaard in North London to the summer of 2028 has now officially been signed, making him Arsenal's highest-paid player on over £300,000 per week. A major coup for both sides. Odegaard moved to Arsenal on loan in 2021 before signing a four-year deal which was initially met by skepticism. Could the wonder kid meet the expectations heralded by his Madrid label? Definitely so. A special feeling has since developed for a club he admired as a teenager. The chance to win trophies has, invariably, played a part. It was an easy decision for me, he says. I felt connected and I felt at home here since the first day. And also I was moving around a lot and struggling to really settle down. So I felt like I needed a place to come and settle down, and to kind of find a home. There are amazing people here at the club, the fans as well. Everything around the club is just a good match for me. Of course, I am thinking about it, winning trophies. That is the big dream, the big goal, to win things with the club. That's why I have signed here as well, because I believe we can achieve some great things. It comes ahead of this Sunday's hotly anticipated North London Derby against famed rivals Tottenham. Or the big one, as he calls it. I think when I first came here I knew straight away going into that game. But this was something special, he says. You can just feel it at the training ground, on social media. Even though I try not to focus too much on social media, you still see it and feel it from the fans. It's a special one and it's game we look forward to, to play here at home with the fans. It's one of those games you really enjoy playing, and it will be a nice one. It's been a long road from his days at Real Madrid, which saw the Norwegian shunted out on consecutive loan spells following such hype around this next big thing. In Madrid it was just a bit different he explains. I was very young, I was stuck between the first and second teams, so I never really got the time to settle down. At Arsenal I've always had this special feeling. Even before I came here, I remember playing FIFA and I was always Arsenal. I had a good feeling about the club, and I brought myself here. Just from the first day I felt this was a good place to be. So it's a good feeling to stay longer. The connection to Arteta has played a part, too. The 24-year-old's footballing acumen having been transformed under the Spaniard.